Hello again, everybody. Way back sports cards. We are back. We've got a uh, a short box break today. Um, it's um, twelve packs of 1992 Score Baseball Series Two, and I've got twelve packs here. Uh, Sixteen cards per pack. Um, we are just about coming out of the junk wax era. We still kind of this is still junk wax technically. But there are some cards here, um, some autographed cards in here, Chuck Knobloch, Mickey Mantle, um, Stan Musial. That there's a few thousand of these cards kind of floating around in this set. So there's a couple of chase cards here, but it's still basically junk wax. Um, as I'm talking, I have up on the screen some information about Score Baseball 1992 Series 2 cards. Uh, a little bit of information about the set the subsets, the inserts, um, how much I paid, and um, also a little brief. Um, I recently looked up some of the PSA um, sales on eBay to give you an idea of how much some of these PSA cards are selling for. Um, not a ton of money unless you could find one of these autographed cards. So the autographed cards command a massive premium, but we have to be... Um, Super, super, super extremely lucky to find one of those in these 12 packs. With that, I will get going on these. You'll see each pack has got a different player featured on the front. Um, not clear who the player is. It's not one of those, uh, the faces are covered on most of these. And so I'm just going to stop for a minute on this first card. You can see how the front of each card looks. Um, one color on the left. Uh, different colors on the bottom, uh, it, position at the bottom, team logo in the upper left-hand corner, upper right-hand corner, or, or the top is the player name, full picture on the front, and then on the back, we got another face shot, head shot on the back, um, name, position, personal stats, uh, professional record, and you can see some minor league is in here as well, and a pretty long blurb, uh, depending on who the player is, so um, a lot of information here. So if you're the kind of person who likes that on your card, you're in luck here. But the front of the card is kind of junk waxy design here. Not my favorite. But anyway, there's a lot, a lot of information provided here. So we're going to keep going. Tom Goodwin, Cal Eldred, Bob Zupsik. We've got a Dream Team card of Scott Erickson. And this is a subset card. It looks like it would be an insert, but... It is a subset. Darren Holmes. Tim Raines. Awesome. Hall of Fame. Tim Raines. Zane Smith. Jeff King. And uh, Oil Can. Dennis Boyd. The last card there. So not too much star power in that pack. Kind of a bust. And these are plastic packs, as you can see by how I am struggling to open them. Uh, trying not to damage the cards. We do have Babe Ruth card with his, uh, looks like his memorabilia there. Kind of cool. A Hojo NL All-Stars. That is one of the subsets here. I love the caricature artwork. MVP, Cal Ripken Jr. He was the 1991 MVP. 1991 highlight, Kirby Puckett. Playoff MVP, so we struck a few cards here. Randy Johnson, the big unit, Hall of Fame pitcher. Kirby Puckett, Hall of Fame outfielder, awesome. Jim Abbott, the inspirational Jim Abbott. So a pretty good pack there in terms of star power at least. Cool card to start the front there. NL All-Star Ryan Sandberg. Cy Young Award winner. The Rocket. Roger Clemens with the Red Sox. Man of the Year. Cal Ripken Jr. These are all subset cards. First round pick, Tyler Green. Anthony Young. A dubious record of uh, most consecutive losses. I believe he pit uh, 19 consecutive lo lo losing decisions before he won a game. 
right in that era. Kurt Schilling, he's still with the Astros here at this point, right before he joins the Phillies and helps the Phillies go to the 93 World Series. So Kurt Schilling still there with the Astros. Hard hitting Mark Witten, Todd Hundley, Otis Nixon. Let's end of that pack. <clears throat> Overall, I don't believe these packs were too expensive back in 1992. I think you can get these packs for a dollar or less at that time. I'm happy to see that we don't have to do a ton of flipping. Another Don Wakamatsu. He's the first card we pulled in the first pack. And again, you can see uh, some duplication already. Tom Browning. Wow. Complete, complete, complete bust of a pack. That is uh, not a single subset star player whatsoever. That won't be the case here. I see Tom Glavin in the back. <clears throat> Will Clark, All-Star. Jack Morris had just come off of the 1991 World Series, winning it with the Twins, pitching that 10-inning game. I believe it was Game 7. Robin Yount, inching his way to 3,000 hits at this point. 28-78 at that point. He had, I think he reached 3,000 hits in the 92. Three season. Mike Greenwell, great Red Sox player for quite a while there. And uh, Tom Glavin, last card. First round pick, Benji Gill with the Rangers. Scott Service, catcher, rookie prospect. Kevin Mitchell, former MVP. Steve Olin, Wade Boggs. There we go. Another member of the 3000 Hit Club. Wade Boggs. And Mark Grace lunging out there to get that pitch. Um, got about five more to go here. After this, after this one, that is. Kenny Lofton, early career Lofton. He's still with the Astros at this point. Um, Jim Tomey, early career. I believe 91 is where you'll find his rookie card. Todd Van Poppel, former number one overall pick. Never quite panned out. Stuck around for a while, but never quite reached his potential or, or reached expectations. Andy Van Slyke, mid-slide there. Nails, Lenny Dykstra. Dave Stewart, ace pitcher of the A's at the time. Glenn Allen Hill, Rick Honeycutt, now pitching coach. Okay. So, I mean, this this set's nice. It's, you know, it's, it, there's some good cards we're pulling here, but you can see uh, the inserts had not really become a big thing yet, and... Um, there we go, Tony Gwynn All-Star. At least the subsets kind of make it a little interesting, but it could use a little bit more, um, at least could use an insert series just to kind of keep the interest of those opening the packs. Because this is this is tough kind of going through all these commons. Bobby Thigpen, single season saves leader for quite a while, had uh, 57 saves there in 1990. Okay, we've got a few more to go. I already see another Mark Grace, and that probably means we're looking at a duplicate type pack. Let's see, Todd Van Poppel, another Babe Ruth. Hojo, MVP of Cal Ripken. Dream team of Frank Thomas. And I gotta tell you, that's really awesome picture. He's got the oversized bat, really cool. Really cool. I like that. Otherwise, uh, Randy Johnson, Kirby Puckett. So other than that, it is a uh, very much a duplicate pack, but the, uh, 
with the exception of the Frank Thomas. Cy Young Award winner of Tom Glavin, the 1991 Cy Young Award winner. The 1991 Rookie of the Year was Jeff Bagwell with the Astros. Kevin Brown, longtime pitcher. Uh, some would say underrated in terms of war and strikeouts. Brian Barnes, for some reason, getting the benefit of the dual photo shot. I, I don't understand uh, what... Well, he got that. I haven't seen that on any other cards. El Presidente, Dennis Martinez, and uh, Ruben Sierra. Looks like he's chasing a high fastball there. Two more to go. Brett Butler, All-Star, No Hit Club, Saber Hagen. I think there were seven no-hitters thrown in 1991. He had one of them. Jack Morris, the 1991 World Series MVP. Scott Ruff Corn, remember first round pick. Do not remember him. Jesse Barfield, Chuck Finley. Uh, not too much to write home about there. And the last pack. So overall. I don't remember paying a ton for these. I think I paid about 10 bucks for these 12 packs. So if you can get these for a dollar a pack or less, you're probably doing okay. But there's nothing too big here unless you're hunting for those uh, rare autographs, which I think is an extreme long shot. But uh, feel free to do so if that's what you want because you can get these packs for pretty cheap. But I don't know how many of those still exist out there. Wild Thing, Mitch Williams, Dream Team. Rod Beck, Abbott, and uh, last card, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Very nice. So with that, I'll quickly just fan through these. I mean, uh, some cool subset cards, World Series, award winners. Um, the dream team of Frank Thomas is probably the coolest one here. MVP, some um, memorabilia cards. The all-star caricature cards are great. Um, other than that, some good, good star players in here, but I wouldn't go too crazy paying more than, uh, uh, if you're paying a dollar a pack for this, you're probably paying too much. So, uh, if you can keep that, uh, between 50 cents to 75 cents a pack, you're probably doing okay. And, and for that, it's just, um, you're buying pack of memories here. You're not buying anything that's going to win you too much money on a PSA 10. You're probably taking more risk sending it in, uh, to get the PSA 10 than, than it's worth if you get it. So, um, these are just, a, it's just a fun rip. Uh, with that, I will, uh, finish out this video here. I'll thank you guys for watching and, uh, stay tuned for, uh, another box break in the near future. We got a ton of stuff coming, baseball, football, hockey, soccer. So we got a lot of stuff coming. Stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.